Okay, so now we can continue. So if we go back to our launch um, window, now we can see all the other options available to us. So only that very first um, step is compulsory. Everything else thereafter is entirely optional, um, depending on um, you know how granular you want your information, what, how granular you yeah, if, what, how granular you would like your information to be. So basically, you work from left to right. So from most coarse information all the way down to the most granular information, where obviously the identification of specific individuals is the most granular information you can really get. So um, that's basically the idea, and we'll we'll work through all those different types of annotations now in the demo. And for each of those, you'll see that they all also are optional by species. So basically, the idea is you only want to do these extra tasks for species um, that you're interested in. Otherwise, you're wasting your time. Um, so there's no point annotating the envelope if you don't actually need that information. So the whole sort of that's the whole concept to try and min minimize the amount of work you need to do. Um, so basically, at this point, we've annotated all the species. We can actually we've got those six thousand two hundred images. I think it was. We can, we can actually export those results and work with them. We don't need to do anything more. So anything we do now is optional. So what we're going to do is, still within the species labeling, so it's the labeling of the species and the clusters. Um, you'll see now we've got other options here. So we did the top level labels, top level of the hierarchy. And now we can go and look at the other um, groupings. In this case, we can now launch small and medium cats. Um, so we can now, because we're interested, for example, in small and medium cats, we can go ahead and launch that. Um, and now we can um, differentiate those species. Okay, so that's now launched. We have just 22 clusters of small, medium cats we need to look at. Again, we just follow the link, it takes us to the job page, and we take that job. There we go. So now you can see it's the exact same interface as before. We've just now got the small, medium cats labels available to us. Um, we've also got an option here to mark something as wrong and also to skip. So, for instance, if we get a, you know, we, we know it's a cat, but we don't know what which one, we can then just skip it and it remains labeled a small, medium cat, and essentially acting as a small, medium cat, an unknown small, medium cat label in the database. Um, and yeah, so basically, like in this case, it's just a civet, so I press one for civet, quite simple. Um, but in case this case here, say it's wrong, what you're able to do is you can say press 9 for wrong, gives you access to the full set of labels. I can then choose another category. In this case, I'm just going to go small and medium cats because I'm, this actually is a wildcat. So I press 6 for small and medium cats and then um, W for wildcat. So you use that exact same mechanism um, for another category for antelope or something like that. If you did come across an antelope, you, you did find a mistake here. Um, in this case, we've got a civet again. Uh, wildcat, uh, serval, caracal, uh, civet, wildcat, wildcat. Oh, there is a mistake. Okay, well, there we go. So now we can actually just say, well, that's wrong. So I press 9. That is a hyena, which is 7. And I can just mark it as hyena with 0 if I want. Or I can, in this case, I know it's a brown hyena. So I can mark it as brown hyena. Wildcat, genet, genet, genet. Uh, serval, serval, uh, and mistake there, genet, genet, wildcat, and I'll make a mistake again, and we're done.